morning indeed simpiwe as i said earlier on is at the aa2 lifestyle center in soweto and he's attending the abantu book festival we now cross back over to him and i believe he's standing by with zanele Indeed, Pell, thank you so much and a warm welcome back to the AA2 Lifestyle Centre in Soweto, uh, which is the home of the second edition of the Abantu Book Festival. Uh, this is a four-day uh, festival that aims, that, that aims to, you know, to empower and to give all black authors a voice. And uh, since uh, you know that uh, all black authors and black writers have been marginalised in the past, so this is actually their platform to empower them, to give them a voice. And now I'm standing with uh, Zanel Ndlovu. Uh, her work and uh, you know, her storytelling has seen her perform at the various uh, uh, book story telling events all over the world and uh, she joins me now a very good morning to you mama thank you so much for joining us and welcome to morning live thank you for having me now i uh, give us a brief history into how storytelling found you what kala nini kuteka tinzaba at the age of nine uh labeng funda khona elsingiti primary school it last room year to be in a library so being turned to funda itori and then manya ga kwa kwa mi besisi masle le stofin samala ase nba kotol dinga neguan so nga kala le so skat ukotol dinga neguan got a we a profession gi kalengo 2002 nga entara storytelling competition omam kinam tope be gui wanyama judges and then nga we na ge lapo so nga se ngi decide to kubege la pambil so apart from that what are the highlights of your storytelling journey um nge nga pala ingwati ikamalayo umakweyana makwena iyo le instrument ebe ngini lalela yona ngi palenge sizulu and umakweyana lo uza ne audio book CD isi za tuso kuti ngi palenge sizulu labantwa nabasa wazo kufunda ama african languages bakul mislungu pela so nga yenzi audio book CD uguti bagu wazo kuti ba lalele bagu wazo kuti ba pronounza ganjani ama kama now speak to us about the travels that you've uh, embarked on all over the world trying to tell stories to people. Uh, e, one of my highlights was when Gie Ezanzipa Begui's Jahazi Literature and Music Festival. So mang figa la pageng figa no makuya na wa mingi abajel guta mezulu storyteller and Ezanzipa in national language abi kiswahili. So bekuelenja belungu na la baba kulmi swahili. Basa ba yangu la gugu tayi story 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 sa kwenye sizul. Ni akumbula e ubabu ke urapetu hosisi le na ubei festival participant lapo. So ngasikota gis story sa muiyek pele bega nizo pata bangi bega nizo got bega nizo. Got intenye ngai tanda uguti kate bela le le and be interested be funugu as good. Hmm uti nugu shukti ni logo. So yeah and. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I published a lot of things and I was talking about the editor of the book. Just how important was it for you to be a part of uh, the production? Okay, I'm going to apply for funding the National Arts Council of South Africa and I'm going to develop a manuscript. And then, I'm going to mentor you. I'm going to be a mentor. 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 U sale Tanzania manje gota ubuye Ameri kui Black Panther nguye goye wangenze lama illustrations so le ngati le isenti zuenyamga ku lungoba ngi palele inganyom Afrika ngi palele luguti iwa zuguti tutu gisi ingani zama Afrika ingani zifunde iga kuluga zungulim lebel and I heard inali bali it translated to isesu to iskosa i English na Afrikaans basi by publish aguma newspaper supplements abo nationally and then we are itola even online ngawo wonke la oma languages yin makoyan Oma kwea na ile instrument ngi pete ngi sisu libizu makwea. Ngi sisu utubati isi khapa. Ngi sisu kosa batu hadi. E Mozambique ba ibizi shitende. E Zimbabwe ba ibizi tende. E Tanzania bati indono. E Brazil bati mbirimbao. Ngi English ba ibizi lafbo. Ina ma ibizwa nga maka mashuga shugene. Just briefly, why did you decide to name your book Oma kwea? Uh, because uh, 
instrument yo mkulo we sintu ya dal it's an indigenous instrument so abanta bayaz so bingfunu kwa fundi sangayu na ngomlando makweyana Lindlover, thank you so much for joining us. That was uh, author and playwright uh, Zane Lindlover speaking to us more about her book, Umakoyana. She'll also be part of the, the, the book festival and moderating some of the sessions. Let's now uh, go for an ad break. We'll be right back.